last week, I just had a wonderful trip with my beloved fellow Toastmasters. Yeah. We went to Japan and had a great uh, ski trip. Uh, well, some, most of us, we are, are all uh, looking forward to our very first time to learn how to ski or snowboard. So, uh, as a very first uh, time beginner, I would like to share some looking tips to ski. Of course, I choose to learn ski. Uh, I would like to share some looking tips how to ski based on my personal experience. Tips number one, gear you up. <laughs> that will include two parts. First part, the dressing. So the first layer, yeah, first layer strategy is the best and works the, the most efficient for, uh, for you to, to ski. How to, uh, let me explain how, what is first layer uh, closing. The best layer is uh, in the inner side, and that will keep you dry. Uh, because when you ski, you will most you will sweat a lot. So to keep you dry, and the best layer to wicking all the sweat away from your body is very important. And the mid layer is the is to keep you warm. So it will be a fleece or a jumper. And the outer flavor uh, flare is uh, most uh, is most decided to be waterproof or windproof to uh, that we call it uh, ski jacket. Okay, so uh, to prepare well, uh, to prepare the, the uh, appropriate clothing will make you more uh, safe and more. Uh, comfortable when you do uh, when you do ski. And the second part is let's talk about equipment. So to ski, there's lots of equipment than snowball. <laughs> <laughs> Start from the head to the bottom. Oh, okay. So first um, first of all uh, there's a helmet to keep your head set, especially for rookies. Keep your head up, it's very important. And uh, goggles. Goggles is, is also very important because there are wind, snow, rains. So have goggles, wear goggles will keep you uh, preventing those nature nature. <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, the skis. Skis. And uh, ski poles. Straight down. Okay, and also uh, ski boots and gloves, uh, also waterproof gloves that will make your uh, hands always warm when you, uh, when you ski. Okay, so uh, for the beginners, sometimes you may think, do I need to buy all these equipment? But I, I don't know how to buy it. <laughs> so, uh, rookies, don't have to buy it. You can just rent it. Uh, there are oh, there are always the very latest uh, equipment uh, you can rent near the snowfield. There's always a shop and plenty of the choices. So you can just rent the fashion ski suits, the uh, the appropriate ski equipment, the goggles, the gloves. So. After your first time, uh, after you try, uh, try to ski, maybe you, you can consider it to buy your own equipment. Okay, so uh, my here's I want to share a very interesting finding when we uh, when we ski in Japan. When we ask the storekeeper, uh, when we ask the boss and the manager in the store to rent the helmet. And a Japanese boat, uh, manager told us that helmet? No, we Japanese don't use helmet. <laughs> <laughs> so we rarely to rent the helmet in the shop. So, uh, but when I do some research online, 
I found out that for Westerns, they actually wear the helmet. So that's a big difference between Japanese and Westerns. But our Taiwanese coaches told us, please rent your helmet. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how you can find it, <laughs> keep your head safe. Yeah. So I think that's a, a, a little bit difference between the Japanese ski style and Westerns. Tip number two. To keep your body shape before you ski. <laughs> <laughs> the fitter you are, you will enjoy the ski more. <laughs> Why? When I, uh, when, when my coach told me that, Mandy, just hang in there. Please keep your, uh, please keep your both feet uh, a big A, you know, like this, big A, and hang in there. You will make yourself uh, more stable. On the mountain, and uh, uh, made me don't fall down through the mountain. But you know, my because I don't work, uh, I don't do exercise. <laughs> I don't do exercise. I'm an exercise hater. <laughs> <laughs> so I I always yelling yelling at my coach. No, I can't <laughs> because my muscle isn't is not strong enough to uh, keep my my body uh, sta uh, stable on that position. Because you will use your core muscle and your your legs uh, muscle stress. So for rookies, please remember get your sh uh, get in shape. Do some exercise before you depart to skip. Okay. So uh, the the last tips is to take professional lessons. So that's very important. I, I'm very grateful that we we have the, a professional coach to teach us how to ski in the very first time. So I can learn from the very beginning. I how I walk by the very awkward, you know, po postures. <laughs> how to how to walk uh, on the mountain, and by how to how to stand, how to stop myself, uh, prevent from falling down on the mountain. Yeah, so those tips is very useful for the very uh, beginning. Last but not least, don't give up. <laughs> when every time when I just you know hang in there and I I am waiting out I, most of the time my my life is like a flash ride <laughs> uh, through my head. Uh, um, am I need to give up? Do I need to give up? <laughs> and then not just three or four year old Japanese boy, cute, cute kiddos, just you know, skate are uh, passing by me, a uh, very smoothly with a uh, proud face. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and I will, I will tell myself, okay, if we can do it, I can do it. So I just told and yell my coach, coach, I want to rest. Take some rest. Okay, so after five minutes rest, I will tell myself, okay, don't give up. So that will take me like 20 or, or 15 or 20 minutes just uh, to ski from the top to bottom. Yeah, but actually, I, uh, that was a very fun uh, experience. Uh, so if I have a chance, I would like to ski uh, next year. Um, but Okay, so uh, in the end of my speech, do you guys want to see how Lukey Ski uh, Victor, uh, vi video was? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, I, I regard you, um, I regard all of you are my family, you know, <laughs> so uh, I would like to share the video recording my, to, by my coach, how, how the rookie learned to ski.